Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here. I am on one of my very last alts to hit 110, and I am 109 right now with 45% experience in. And today I wanted to talk about leveling through pet battles. Now if you take a quick look at my altaholic, I have 989 levels earned just on this server alone. And that's not counting my two alliance characters on this server, um, who are both 101, okay? Now looking at here, you think, oh my gosh, he's spent forever on this game. And I have, I have 212 days played. But, here's what I wanted to point out, was this character, 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 and this character, all these 110s here, and this guy who's 110 and a half, have all been leveled through pet battles. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, that must have taken forever. Actually, it didn't. And today I want to talk about that. So, we're going to start out in Pandaria. That's my favorite place to run. It has 11 tamers. And running it takes me, on average, about 35 to 37 minutes. I, I've been timing myself the last three days, and the average I have is about a 36-minute run. Uh, to do all the pet tamers on the mainland of Pandaria. That's not including the Celestial Tournament or little Tommy Newcomer. He's just too far out of the way to make it part of the convenient loop. And running those 11 tamers nets you 46.75% of a level, okay? Because every tamer that you beat will give you a daily quest that with rested experience gives you 1,600 or 16,300 experience. Now, if you beat those tamers, these guys right here, with a leveling pet, like if you have a carry pet in there, you know, a level one pet or whatever level it might be, just not 25, you get additional experience, um, which equals 12,350 experience. So beating each of these tamers here was netting me 28,650 experience for each of them. Okay, so when you add all that up, it equals 46.75% of a level. And I did that in just under 40 minutes. Then I came out to Draenor, and I beat the Tamers of Draenor. I did not do the Tiny Terrors, I just did um, the ones on the mainland here. That is six Tamers, and it took me 25 minutes exactly the last two days. And that nets an additional 25.5% of a level. So running those two, just those two continents, which took me uh, just over an hour, like an hour and two minutes, netted me 72.25% of a level. Now, what's significant about that is for 100 through 110, the levels are almost all the exact same amount of experience. So it takes you the same time as it does to go from 100 to 101 as it does from 109 to 110. So running this route, just spending an hour a day, will net you 72.25% uh, of a level every single day. Now, that does not sound like a ton. It's just under a level a day, but that's just one hour, okay? And questing in the Broken Isles, it takes longer than one hour to get 75% of a level. At least it was for me. And I've been working. I want to get every pet that I have up to max level. Um, and so this is the best way that I could do both things. Now, here's some other statistics for you, okay? So in that one hour, you can either level 17 pets... 187 pet levels where you take level one pet and get it up to level 11. This is not counting using uh, lesser pet treats or pet treats. This is just with the Safari Hat experience. Um, or you could level five pets fully from level one to 25. Now that is only doing Draenor and Pandaria. If you look at Kalimdor, we have a grand total of 12 tamers on Kalimdor, okay? Now, eight of these tamers are below level 15. Now, what that means is if you beat a tamer, like let's take, you know, uh, Zunta, for example, here. Let's see if I click on him. I don't know if it'll bring it up or not. It's not. So, we'll click on him here. So if you beat Zunta, okay, he has 
two level two pets, you can beat him in less than a minute. If you have two level one pets and then you have a higher level pet to kill both of these guys, it takes about one minute. And it'll net you 16,300 experience. You won't get any additional experience. You'll only get the base experience for completing the daily quest. Um, and I would recommend for all the tamers under level 15, which is Gazel the Great all the way up to Zunta, these guys here, don't run them with pets or of the same level, okay? Because running them with pets of the same level will make it so each of those fights takes about two to five minutes, depending on your luck and RNG. Um, and you will only get a very small percentage of bonus experience. But starting at level 15, so uh, Kella here, uh, Zoltan, Eluna, Trixie, Brock, and Obelis, these six tamers here, I would recommend trying to beat with pets the same level. It doesn't take very long. Uh, eventually, that's not going to be a viable strategy for me because I'll have every pet too high of a level. But beating those tamers with pets of the same level will grant you that additional 12,350 experience. Um, so in total, running Kalimdor, those 12 tamers, that takes me about 55 minutes. Well, not quite 55 minutes. Like... 45 minutes to run all these tamers here. I just start in Ogremar. Um, what I do is I use the portal to Mount Hyjal. I go to, I kill Brook. I come up here to Stone Cold Trixie. I come down like this. And then I finish up in Ogremar. And then I uh, port down here and finish up Obelisk. So that takes me about 45 minutes. And that grants me an additional 50% of a level. Okay. Then I come up to Northrend. Northrend takes me 22 minutes on average to beat the five tamers up here, and each of them gives the 28,000 experience if you beat them with a carry pet. And then I finish out the night in um, Outland, where what I do is I take the portal to the, or I take the portal in Ogremar to Hellfire Peninsula. I beat Nikki Tiny Tech. I come down here, uh, beat Blood Knight come here, do Marulu, then I do Naruk, and then I finish up with Razan. Now running all that, running all those tamers, takes me roughly, let's see, 22, 22, then that, so plus one hour, so that's one hour, 44 minutes. So, so about two hour, two and a half hours to run the entire world, to beat every tamer in the world. But that nets me just under two levels. So this is a really effective strategy when it comes to leveling up pets. Uh, and leveling up your alts, especially like you could watch Netflix while you're doing it. You could do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, and it's really a no-brainer, especially once you beat them a few times. Like for me, beating all of the Pandera Tamers and the Draenor Tamers in particular, and even Outland. These are, well, actually these four. It's Kalimdor that sometimes where I've got to rebuild a team to beat a certain guy. Like right now, this is a team I'm using on Zoltan. Um... But it's, it's a no-brainer. So I've got Netflix playing or I've got YouTube playing. And it's just a really effective and fantastic way to level up your alts. So if you're a person who can just dedicate even just one hour a day to leveling through pet battles, you'll be averaging 75% of a level in an hour. You know, you just do Pandaria and Draenor. You got 75% of a level. You do that over, like, what is it? I don't know, not even two weeks, and you've got a character from 100 to 110. So um, that's the guide that I use. I think it's really effective, and uh, that's why I'm able to have all these alts at such high levels. If you found this video helpful, like reading is always appreciated. It is a pleasure gaming with you, and make sure to subscribe for more WoW content. If you have any questions, make sure to leave that in the comment section below, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. One other thing I forgot to mention was I do have guides to beat literally every single one of those tamers with two pets. So if you don't know how to do it, uh, check out my channel uh, in the all the different playlists that I have to show you whatever continent you're struggling with. Anyway, take care.